Welcome back to our third segment in All Sports Incorporated. You can catch us on Roku TV, IBTV.us, and YouTube. Comment, subscribe, like. This is our third segment. We're going to be talking about the NBA. Um, Dad, what you got for us? Well, this is the All-Star Weekend. I think the funniest thing was they had the, the game will be later on today, but they had the Celebrity Classic with uh, the little midget clown that got in trouble at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Kevin, uh, Kevin, Kevin, Hart. Kevin Hart. They had him running around with Justin Bieber. And then, of course, um, uh, my boy Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Uh, he gets up from an interview because uh, Michael Smith, who I'm not a fan of at all, goes outside of what they agreed to talk about and wants to go with his personal life. Right. Which I understand him getting up and walking away from. Right. So right now that that's the highlight of the weekend. It's yeah. in Los Angeles. Right. Uh, we've heard nothing about any uh, violence, which I'm really glad. Yeah. Uh, so it seems to be going okay. Everybody's having <clears> a good time. It'll be this first format that they've had. We got LeBron James as the captain of the East right. and the captain of the West is Steph Curry, who's a one. I like both of the young men. So it should be fun, you know, yeah. it'll be a high-scoring game. I'm wondering when we'll have the first 200-point game because they're getting kind of close. close. No, they're cutting it yeah. close. Yeah, last, last year, didn't they score 160 points the winner? It was something like something that. Something like that, it, it seems impossible to score them kind of points in a game. But anyway, we have that going with the – but then we have the um, uh, trades that have gone on, uh, which is really – it really shows folks if you have a cancer in the locker room how big a deal it is. And it comes to find out that Danny Ainge, of course, with, Clint, with the Celtics, made another great move by getting rid of Isaiah Thomas. As great as he was playing, he's a problem. Mm. And that's why the people were glad to see him going. No one came, no uh, player came to his uh, uh, to the forefront saying we, we should have kept him. And really a liability, a really a defensive liability. He's 5'9", with shoes on. And um, Danny Ainge just pulled one over. I mean, he got Kyrie Irving. And yes. I think he got a pick. Yes. He got a round two pick. So, I mean, the Celtics are going to be good, guys. They're, they're yeah. coming up. Um, I mean, you can have a person the size of LeBron palm the ball and put it behind his head and bring it back. Oh, yeah. It's a little schoolyard yeah. stuff, and he'll turn around. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, you know, he, for to put him in a special spot where you're really running, 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 right. but not playing on defense, you're just running, and for, to spell someone is fine. But uh, to show that. They go from having nothing but trouble, that's the Cleveland Cavaliers, to the first game winning big, yeah. second game they play a quality game against an even better team, and they're just really, and they haven't even really started to gel. And they're exploded. Yeah. They're ex all they got dreams, younger, they got more athletic, athletic. and so, smarter too. Yes. Smarter. Um, there's 25 games left, approximately after the All-Star break, there's right. 25 games left. Uh, who's your, you know, who's your heavy... Who's your heavy favorite in the West right now? Um, I just I still don't see anybody coming to get the Warriors, um, but there it's it's going to be tough, man. Because OKC, I think uh, they're looking good. They're really they're really good. starting to really starting to look good. Mm -hmm. um, Carmelo Anthony is really accepting his really? role. Really, and wow! I man. think that always was his role, though. Yeah, that that's where he should have been. That always was Carmelo's role, yes. and they they mm -hmm. asked too much of him. Yes, and you've always told me you never ask an athlete. To do things they, they can't can. do, and he's being asked mm -hmm. to do things that he can do. Yeah. And now you can see great. where, um, even last year, man, when he was playing great, I think Paul George was still coming back a little mm -hmm. bit from that. Yep. Now he's fully recovered. He's the Paul George of old. There doesn't seem to be any kind of ego problems. Right. They don't mind Westbrook being the show right. and having the ball. Right. You know, it reminds me of the old days when you had a person like Westbrook. All the coach would tell you. Don't don't tell me about running the play for you. You get it off the glass. Right. Go get it off the glass because he's not gonna make all of them. Right. Get it off the glass. So I, I I just I don't see, but still it's gonna be hard to beat them Warriors down the stretch. But I would not be surprised for OKC to come get them. Um, also, Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. Like, I, I think this is the year that they have to give the uh, MVP to. They gotta give it to Harden. It's they just, gotta give. It's, yeah. it's starting to get. It's uncomfortably. Becoming political, in my opinion, like is there something that he's doing off the court right. um, that we don't know about? Yeah. But we think they publicized. Then the East man, who do you have? I got, I got Boston. I like Boston. I think Boston's gonna win out the East. I, I really like what they're doing. They look good as a team. Kyrie Irving's, he, I think he's one of the becoming one of the best players on the planet. Um, I also, you know, my dark horse is all, all, always gonna be the Wizards. I love Bradley Bill, John Wall. 
Um, I think they're the best one-two punch in the league outside of Klay Thompson and Steph Curry over in the West. So, um, you know what? I just had a thought about something, though. Uh, the Warriors are the number, probably going to be the number one seed. The number eight seed is actually probably going to be the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. Um, the Denver Nuggets are a very young team. And then they're playing better all the time. Yeah. Um, I think that's a seven-game series in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And how the Warriors beat you folks is they run, 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 and then they gun. So I think that the way the Warriors are going to lose is that seven, that first seven-game series, I think they beat the, the Nuggets. But I think it's so hard, and they're so tired because they're getting older now, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, did you see where the kid from the, the Nuggets, the big kid, had the fastest triple-double yeah. ever? Jokic? Yeah. He had the and fastest it was quiet. Triple -double. Yeah. It was quiet. Didn't even, at the end of the game, didn't even know he had yeah. that many points. Yeah. He did that in, was it four-something? How many minutes was it? It was like 35 minutes. No, it was it was in the teens. Oh, it was in the teens? He did it oh, in the teens. Like, yeah, I didn't he know that. Yeah, he, he had the triple double in that. That was just a, a really fine performance. I, I'm telling you, man, in the East, um, with first I had the Celtics. Right. Uh, the Wizards don't come into it for me. They'll, they'll give a good play, hard play, but for some reason, man, John Wall's not liked. He doesn't fit in well with the team. He so he can't be the team leader. And he Bradley Bill's the and, down. and he has the uh, he has the, the real habit of sticking his lips out and being mad yeah. and start pouting and, and gets mad. Yeah. So the Wizards aren't, aren't going to do anything but give you a couple good games. I thought it was going to be the Celtics hand down, but now with, with what uh, Cleveland's done with these trades, mm -hmm. man, uh, LeBron's back to the top for me. I think it's going to be Cleveland and Celtics in a just epic finals to win that uh, East. It's, it's, it's going to be something, but I, I think that's the one that's going to be. And I, and I think that this, uh, I think... Cleveland's gonna come out on top of it if they don't. Well, and and on top of that trade, you have to remember. For me, anyway, I think uh, this is LeBron James' last best chance to win. Oh yeah, this it's, is last yeah. best chance. He's getting older too. If they can win out from the East, yeah, they they really got to match up wise. They have a chance to beat whoever comes out of the West. You know who? I mean, the, the West. You know who would be the hardest matchup for them coming out of the West? I'll probably say the Rockets. I think it's OKC, okay, man. That's a mm. tough matchup for Cleveland. Because mm. the Rockets, if you can let Harden get his, you can handle the rest of them. Yeah. But uh, OKC is getting to be a beast. Yeah. Good God. I like OKC. Yeah, they're, they're and I think And I think they're all going to sign on again with Max Dells. Yeah. Now, man, what do you think about this, uh, 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 our controversial thing, folks? Uh, this uh, young lady who had uh, pretty racist comments about uh, LeBron James. Um, well, if you guys don't know, her name's Laura Ingram. She's on Fox um, News, and essentially what she said is that athletes and LeBron James should just shut up and dribble, and they shouldn't talk about political topics. And I think that, number one, that's hypocrisy. You can't have it two ways. You can't have wanting athletes to be role models and then saying, no, you're just an athlete again. And don't forget, she isolated basketball, which is the black sport. She wasn't talking about baseball or hockey, or soccer, she isolated the sport that is dominated by black men. That's why she said, just shut up and dribble. And I think also, it's I kind of, you know, hypocritical that Fox News has athletes on there all the time. They have rock stars on the time. They have, so what you're saying is that, okay, sometimes you can talk when it's beneficial to our network, but other times you, you can't talk. So I, I not, so much, pretty, not so much of a beneficial trade, but you can talk as long as you're entertaining us. Mm. But just entertain us. Don't have anything moral right. or political right. to say. Right. Just, just entertain us. That's what we pay you to do. Right. And that's where you are in the fabric of what they think their society is. And I think when we get into the racist part of what Laura Ingram said, she said that it was unintelligible what he was saying. Yeah. And LeBron James, everybody knows LeBron James is extremely articulate and uh, just a great man, not only in his community, but just in general, he's one of a great man off the court, what he does with all his and organizations. She, and she also said something to the point of, this is what you get when you have someone who leaves high school. Right, exactly. And, exactly. and has only played. Exactly. As if you can't study exactly. and learn things and life experience. This isn't a young kid. This right. isn't a, he's not just out of high school. Right. You know, so this, you know, it's, it's, it's not something where he hasn't had life experience, where he hasn't been involved. 
Right. Well, listen, folks, it's been great finishing up our third segment here. Hope you like what you heard. Give us some comments, some feedback, and we'll see you next time.